Rami. Hey. You pretty much stated uh, Saturday night your thoughts on the season, but as you're a couple of days away here, um, what's through your emotions and how does that, how much is that fire burning you tend for next season to start getting some turnaround? around? Yeah, it's a, it's a big fire, obviously. To not make the playoffs, obviously, as you heard what Greg said, is embarrassing. I also, I also feel that emotion. Um, it's a feeling that you don't like, obviously. Uh, you kind of reflect back, and you know, look, you look back in the season, and you look at key points and key key moments of the season, and, and you know, obviously, you wish you could have some stuff back, but that's just the nature of the sport. So, uh, yeah, you use it as, as fuel for for the next year, for sure. Have you uh, thought about all of the, the different contexts to this season? And uh, I mean, this is one of those years where I don't know. Is there anything you guys could have done that that would have changed? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's difficult to say, you know. There's a lot of stuff that went into the season. Obviously, you know, the protests, a lot of guys getting injured, new Leagues Cup, the congestion of games and whatnot. So, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that went into it. I haven't really processed all the stuff that went into this season, but I know that, of course, I can't look away from it. It, it did take effect on our, on our season and how it ended it up. But is it, an excuse? is it an excuse? No, it's not. So, yeah. How about you personally? How, how do you feel about your performance this year? And when the season began, uh, we thought we'd see you uh, maybe up in the, the left wing spot a little more often than we did, and then you yeah. pretty much attacking yeah. left back. Yeah, oh, you can thank Tyler for that. Tyler went and took my position. No, I'm kidding. Tyler's been excellent. But um, yeah, I think I had an okay season. Um, If I was to compare it to last season, I think I did a little bit better last season. Um, As I said before, I'm really hard on myself. I think this year it was just, I wasn't up to par. Or, as I said before, my back line, our whole back line wasn't up to par for this season. Obviously, we let in what, the most goals since 2017 for this club, the, tied the 2017 record. So, yeah, um, for me, it's just, you know, trying to limit moments where, you know, it could put our team at a very, very bad disadvantage or aka shooting ourselves in the foot. I think we've done that a lot this season. And it's not just like, as I said before, the back line. It's this it's key moments we just kind of... Not really, you could say, where a team, you know, gets a good goal on you, plays well, good soccer. Just, a lot of times it's just our wrongdoing. So for me, that's, our, that's my mainstay for next season, is to try to limit as much as possible doing, you know, this absolutely unnecessary stuff that causes, you know, pressure towards our back line or towards our goal. So, yeah. And my season overall, I think I did okay. I'm really hard on myself. So I just want to do better next season for sure. Yeah, he's he's a very very. Mm, it's hard to say. It's hard, it's hard to put into words, but he's a guy that really really cares about this club, and you know as he said before, he's been in MLS for twenty plus years, twenty odd years. He's a guy that does not like to not not miss the playoffs. He's a guy that's really really, you know, he's really really thoughtful in, in what I, whatever he does, being the GM, being the coach. He's very thoughtful in his process. So yeah. Um, as I said before, it's, it sucks not to make the playoffs, but this is a coach, this is a coaching staff that I truly believe that could carry this club to where it needs to be. Obviously, this season wasn't, obviously, by any imagination of a stretch, a good season, but I still have full faith in those guys. I know, I know these guys. I know the league as well, too, so I know coaches like that. This, this is a guy that loves this club, that wants this club to do well, so I know that the club will do well, knowing Greg. I think the foundation is set. I don't think the fa- I don't think the foundation this year was into play, but next year it is completely set up for us to do really, really well. I think next year is a very, very big year for us, players and coaching, coaching staff wise. is a very, very big year for us. End of story. What in your mind? What makes Greg a, a great coach? He is. He really thinks about all the possibilities in terms of tactical and whatnot. He's very, very thought out. Um, he's very, very detail orientated, and me being in the league for eight years, having six different coaches or whatnot, I could see what Greg does is very, very, how do I put it? Very, very thought out, and I think it's very, very planned. And it's very, like when you come to game day, there's no, you're not in disarray or you know have any doubts or whatnot. So I think he's a very, very good coach. I, as, I, as I said before. I grew up under his, his philosophy, so you can maybe call me biased or whatnot, but I think he's a very, very good coach, and, and I think he's, he's, he's here to make the galaxy take the next step. Next up, 
We'll be joined by Zoom questions. Uh, if you have a question for Rod, raise your hand. Uh, go ahead, Alex. Hey, Rahim. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, the importance of having, you know, this upcoming preseason to work with uh, the back line. Obviously, there's been a lot of consistency issues there. And if you could talk about maybe getting a whole offseason to work with uh, Maya Yoshida, who, you know, has tons of experience and he'll get a whole preseason under his belt with you guys. Yeah, it's going to be uh, very important this offseason and even during preseason to get, you know, consistency with the back line and, you know, get familiar with guys and whatnot and playing styles because, as you've seen before, during the season, a lot of different lineups and after a lot of new guys midway through the season. So it's in, term, in terms of continuity and, and consistency, yeah, it was a little bit difficult. But, yeah, with the whole preseason and even offseason uh, under our belts, I think that should, uh, you know, take care of itself, obviously. But, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll go next to Mike Ray. Uh, hi, Raheem. Uh, Eric Zavaleta mentioned uh, year by year how he always likes to add uh, something to his game and improve his game. Is there anything for next year that you might want to add to your game or specifically you might want to improve or maybe just, you know, uh, just improve just a tad? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple, actually. I, I think my crossing... I think my crossing needs to be a little bit better. That's something I want to work on. And after maybe my runs, I think I need to be a little bit more dangerous at times in the attack and half to make runs and create for myself or create for my teammates. And defensively, I just need to be more sound and, you know, understand cues, understand when to, like, get rid of the ball, or when to, you know, stuff like that, little stuff like that, um, obviously. So, yeah, I'll take that into consideration for next year and, and work on those for sure. Thank you, Raheem. Yep. Thanks for your time, Rob.